It's YouTube Wednesday! Let's make a horn. Uh, I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make one horn, but making the set of horns works the same way. The main thing I need right now is Tyvek. I've done a couple other horn videos. This one is very different. Uh, Tyvek is the material that I'm using. Tyvek is a moisture repellent house wrap, which also has some thermal properties, but it's very lightweight and it's very strong and it's very rip resistant. Um, it's a great material for that. I also like it because you can weld it with a soldering iron. So I will just give you guys a quick little example of that first. Uh, here is a little bag with two pieces of Tyvek that I have welded together. Uh, super simple and it's a uh, pretty, pretty strong bond. So, uh, Uh, I can, uh, I've made inflatable costumes out of this. It's really good stuff. It's very lightweight, very strong. But let me show you a bit of welding. I'm going to draw out what I want. I have two layers top layer and a bottom layer. soldering iron. Just going to run it through until I see the paper underneath of it. So now because I had a flap on this side, that is now welded together. That is now welded together and uh, it's just a good little, it's, it's, I made a paper shape. All right, this is a mold for a horn. Remember I like to make horns off of cups because it's a good place to start. Good way to attach, it's nice. I'm going to mark the halfway point on this cup, and that'll tell me how big my pattern needs to be. All right, that is roughly that. Let's just make a simple horn with a curve in it. First things first, I'm going to go ahead and trace this in order to have my horn mold. Just go slow and steady, and as it runs across both sets of Tyvek, it will weld them together. I have a Minotaur costume that I'm working on right now, and this is how I'm doing those horns. Slow and steady. Try to stay at the same speed. Careful not to stab it or else you'll make a little hole and that's going to leak. And I want both of the pieces to be pushed down by my hot tool here. But if they're separated too much, it might burn through the layers separately and not weld them together. Well, and again, uh, you can also use Tyvek as an airbrush uh, stencil and just cut the soldering iron. Nice and precise and fast. But this is what I wanted to get out of that process. Very cool. Okay. Now, remember I measured off a cup because I want the cup to be incorporated into the horn. 
And that is a really nice fit right there. That fits really good up to where I want. Crazy part. This foam from Home Depot, the Sika Pro Select foam used for sending fence posts. All right, that's what I'm making this horn out of. I poured it out into cups. It comes in bags. I poured it out into cups. This is one quarter of one package. All right, that much right there. I'm gonna mix it up. You only have 20 seconds to mix this. I'm gonna mix it up and pour it into my makeshift mold here. Make sure I get it all up and around down here. Okay, so it is filling up. Uh, you can see I have a couple little leaks. I'm not worried about that. As it, it's going to take the path of least resistance. So not only is it gonna go out this top, I'm about to put a cup in there, is my horn mold. And it is foaming, all my excess can go right out the bottom. I'm okay with that. And I'm gonna look at this foam, I'm watching it. I'm taking my cue from the foam outside of the mold to let me know when this is going to be ready to go because I have another process that I want to do. I have my horn set up here. I'm about 10-15 minutes into this foam kicking. It's still sticky but it's a lot more solid. I have an amount of masonry twine. I'm gonna get myself uh, a good bit here in my arms. I'm just cutting off a fair amount. If I have too little, it's no big deal. If I have too much, it's no big deal. And I'm gonna start down here at the base and I am going to wind this string around the horn. That's gonna give me some very horn-like ridges in this horn. Uh, you can go as tight as you want so these horn ridges are as deep as you want or you can leave them nice and loose. Doesn't really matter. Uh, it's a preference. The, uh, the foam that leaked through is actually helping me by tacking down the string in these certain spots. Everywhere it hits. And these rings normally get closer together the further you get towards the tip of the horn. Now I've got it all wrapped up. I'm just going to wait. I'm going to wait until this, this foam is already hard set. Right now it's still sticky. It wouldn't do me any good to unwrap it right now. I'm going to wait till this foam is set up. It says an hour on the thing. I'm going to wait about 45 minutes. Come back and check it out. It has been a while later. Our foam is not sticky and it's very firm now. Peel it off the paper. It is still very lightweight. Take the string, unwind the string. And I now have a horn. 
Uh, I now have a horn that I can easily attach to a mask with this uh, cup portion right here. I could wire it in, I could glue it in. Um, but I can also, this foam is still curing, so it's still reaching its maximum hardness. But I'm st I can, obviously I can sand this to get those grooves in a little bit deeper. Um, but that's a, a nice lightweight horn that I can attach to a mask and have a uh, rather cool minotaur. Rawr, rawr. When you make them, just do your two patterns at the same time or do one pattern and trace it so both your horns are the same size. Go make stuff!